In this video, we're taking a trip down nostalgia road with the NECA Toys Ultimate ALF action figure. Let's talk about it. So one thing to know about me is that I absolutely love the 80s. From the movies, to the music, to the TV shows, there's just so much to enjoy. Something really big around that time and going into the 90s were shows putting characters in comedic situations, also known as sitcoms. You had shows like Different Strokes, Small Wonder, Webster, Family Ties, and many more. Now although I was born in the year 2001, a lot of these shows were introduced to me by my mom and I grew to enjoy them. One of my favorites involved a furry alien from the planet Melmac named Gordon Shumway, or as the Tanner family called him Alf. This show was full of laughs and heart and it's one I'd recommend checking out. So when NECA announced this figure I knew I had to get my hands on it as soon as possible, which recently happened when I went hunting at a target. Like as soon as my eyes landed on it in that target aisle, I grabbed it and headed straight for the register. One of the main things I love about NECA besides their amazing figures is the packaging and the way they present them. The box for ALF really gives off those vintage retro vibes with the faded sort of colors and fonts. At the front of the box we have a framed photo of ALF along with shots of the actual figure on both sides. Moving around the back there's also a summary of the show's plot plus more shots of the figure in different scenarios. I especially love how NECA shows off ALF's humor through the speech bubbles, but one thing for sure is that we don't need an ALF reboot. Just leave the original in peace, I think that's something we can all agree on. One one more thing when it comes to the packaging is the flap opens up to reveal the figure and all the accessories included, along with one more image of Alf sitting on the couch while enjoying a bit of popcorn. All of these things help give character to NECA's packaging and what I think makes them stand out from other companies, at least the ones that I've seen or collect. After unboxing Alf from his packaging, we get a better look at the figure and he's looking just as good as he did back in the 80s. NECA definitely does kill it when it comes to a lot of their figures and it shows in this one. Getting a close up look at Alf's head sculpt, you can see just how well it matches the look from the show, the resemblance is just uncanny. The fur details, glossy black eyes, the mouth, and nose all help bring this character to life, especially with the expressions. As for the rest of the figure, it is covered in fur from the neck all the way down to his feet, and the texture of it feels well done. You'll even spot things like the fur collar around his neck and the stubby tail at the back. The sculpting of the hand is also done pretty well in my opinion, with the texture on top and then the paw print sculpting on the inside of his palms. The majority of the articulation points on this figure do look seamless when it comes to the overlapping fur. However, there is one spot that doesn't handle it so well, which I'll explain when we get to the articulation. Accessories are something I feel adds enjoyment to a figure, and ALF has quite a few of them. As usual with most action figures, there are additional hands for a variety of looks for the character. He starts off with two open hands, but then you can switch them to pointing or gripping hands, which go hand in hand with other accessories included. If you want to display ALF in style, NECA included a soft good jacket that could be opened or closed by using the velcro. I do believe this is my second soft good piece from NECA toys, the first being with Usagi Ojimbo, and I must say that this one feels just as good as the other one did. What I do like about the jacket is that it's the exact one seen in ALF the animated series. This is sort of a one and done type of figure, so I appreciate them throwing in this easter egg. In addition to the jacket, he also has a pair of shades that have him looking cooler than Corey Hart. One of the main things I remember about ALF is him always being in the mood for food, so it's nice to see a few items for him to enjoy. There's a soda can that closely resembles a Pepsi can, but since they couldn't get the licensing, they chose to reference Paul Fusco, who's the voice and performer behind ALF. He also has a bowl of popcorn and a cat sandwich, which I found hilarious. On the show, there was a running gag about ALF constantly wanting to eat the Tanner family's pet cat, Lucky. There was a moment on the show where ALF had Lucky in between a sliced loaf of bread, hence why we have this accessory here. It's all one sculpted piece and the detail is fantastic, but I do want to point out that this cat doesn't look like Lucky at all. I'm not sure why that's the case, but regardless, it's still a nice looking cat. For the rest of the accessories, we have a bag full of slime balls, a picture frame which references Alf's love interest Rhonda, and a ham radio. In my opinion, this is probably the most detailed piece that comes with this figure. You've got all the knobs and meters that need to be there, and I love that the wire connecting the mic is a soft plastic so you can move it freely. Just the amount of thought and care that went into all the accessories and just kind of making some little references here and there is something I truly do appreciate from NECA. Now with a character such as ALF, you would probably think he doesn't need a whole lot of articulation, but NECA went all out when it came to this guy. 
The head has a good range of motion that gives you 360 degree rotation, tilt going back and forth and side to side. My expectations were blown away by the head too because instead of having a static expression, both the top section and mouth move around a bit which lets you change Alf's expression slightly. Both of the arms can be raised and rotated at the shoulders, plus there's double jointed elbows that rotate at both ends. There's also wrist swivel and you can tilt the hands back and forth. Earlier I mentioned that there was something about the cut points of the articulation that I didn't like and that's the diaphragm cut. While it looks fine when having Alf standing straight up, tilting it in other directions gives the cut some weird gaps. You also can't tilt Alf forward due to the overlapping fur, which doesn't ruin the figure, but it would have been nice to have that extra movement. Last but not least are the legs, which have movement at the thighs, single jointed knees with rotation, and ankle rockers. I feel like at first glance when you see this figure you think it might not be super poseable, but that's the total opposite. You can really get some nice poses out of it to show off the fun characteristics of this alien, and when you pair him with the accessories, it's pure gold. So we've come to the end of the road with the NECA Alf figure, but after this experience, does it truly live up to its ultimate title? 100%. Despite having some minor flaws, NECA killed it with this figure, and it's hands down gonna be one of my favorites of the year, which is crazy to say because we haven't even hit February yet. You can clearly see a lot of thought and passion went into this figure, which is something I come to expect from a lot of NECA's releases. If you're a fan of ALF or maybe just 80 sitcoms in general, I would highly recommend adding this figure to your collection. Something I'd love to do for this figure one day is maybe give him a custom diorama for him to sit in, like a section of the Tanner family's living room or the garage where he uses the ham radio. If I do make that happen, I know exactly who I'm reaching out to. I know this figure is still hitting shelves and being shipped out, but if you happen to have this figure, I want to know what are your thoughts on it. Let me know in the comments below and let's talk about it. I certainly hope you all enjoyed this review, and if you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more action figure goodness. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out. In the next Geek Effect video. Yeah, baby, yeah!